Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. If this is your first time joining me, I appreciate it so much for you stopping by and welcome. And if you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for coming back to see this video. I hope you're as excited as I am about this video. This video is about three perfumes by Rihanna. Yes, it's a celebrity fragrance event here. So I want to kind of compare these fragrances to, to one another and just kind of give you my thoughts about them. I am going to read notes about them and just tell you when they were launched, that kind of information. So I hope that you stay tuned and you continue to watch. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, of course, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. And I hope that you will enjoy this video enough to leave me a thumbs up. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, there are three perfumes in this line. And of course, all by Rihanna. We have Rebel Floor. And it has this kind of ribbon look wrapped around the bottle and has this little gold ring around the top. You just pull the top off like that. Now let me show you the other two. Now I did get this in a couple of different sizes. I kind of went crazy on this. I did list this as one of my favorites in my top five beach perfumes or perfumes for the beach. I forgot what I titled it, but I will leave a link to that video up above here somewhere or here which whichever but i did talk about this a little more in uh, detail about how much i love this fragrance and i kind of went overboard i bought like a big bottle of it and then i bought like the medium size and i just grabbed i'm going to show you the box but it's not opened or anything so i got the bigger size but i also got this size here and it came with this little small like purse size spray and this is the box here so it's really pretty that one was launched in 2010 and that was like the first of the series here or the line and then the second was rebel and this is the box here but the bottle is the same it has the red ribbon wrapped around it it has the gold rings around the nozzle around the lid just take it off like that and this one was launched in, I believe, 2012. Okay, and the next one is Nude. And this is the packaging here. You take that sleeve off. The other one didn't have a sleeve. You take the sleeve off of this. And here's the bottle for Nude. And of course, it's a nude ribbon, kind of fleshy color ribbon going around and has the silver rings around it, the top like that. And this one came out in 2013. Now, it says 2012 on some websites, but I think it might have, you know, launched 2012, but it didn't really hit the stores until like 2013. So now I'm gonna kind of go over some notes with you about each fragrance. Okay, so the notes in this fragrance, the top notes, are red berries, plum, and peach. The middle notes, Hawaiian hibiscus flower, violet, tuberose and coconut the base notes in this are vanilla amber and musk so i'm going to go ahead and apply this to this wrist i'm going to start letting it kind of dry down and immediately <laughs> tropical coconut i can smell that vanilla the rich goodness mm, wonderful so the top notes in this one are strawberry, ginger, and plum. And the middle notes are cacao, vanilla orchid, heliotrope, and coffee. And the base notes are patchouli, musk, and amber. So I'm gonna spray this one on my left wrist. <laughs> Don't you just love, I'm like three or four sprays here. Okay, now this one's like, I'm gonna let them dry down a bit. This one is like spicy. As soon as I spray it on, it's like, it's like, mmm, spicy goodness. And it's got a lot going for it. And I, let me just go ahead and get to the next one. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the notes of Nude. The top notes are Guava Nectar, Mandarin and Pear, 
And the heart notes are orange blossom, gardenia, and jasmine samba. And the base notes are vanilla orchid, sandalwood, and musk. Okay, so now I'm going to spray this one on this arm, um, not the wrist here, because this is rebel floor, and this wrist has rebel. So this top part of my arm is gonna be for nude. Okay, so first spray of that one is more fruity. A little bit of just a tiny, tiny bit of zestiness. Maybe from that orange blossom. I smell pear. It's very fruity. And also it has that sandalwood. I can smell that. And the vanilla orchid, I can start to smell it. Yes, it smells really good. So let me just kind of go over my thoughts here. Okay, so Rebel Floor. I would say coconut, tropical, definitely for the summer, but I definitely think that this could go into fall because it's a deeper, richer fragrance. It smells really good on the skin and it lasts me like all day into the night. I love it. I'll wear it during the day. So that's just me, but you may want to wear something like this at night and I think it's perfect for that during the summer definitely feels very feminine sexy something really good you know you're gonna wear like a, a real pretty dress off the shoulder dress and you can even put it apply it to your shoulders of course but I think this is a really beautiful fragrance and I definitely think this is something great for summertime the beach it's got those tropical notes in it coconut in it something that makes you think of paradise really okay my thoughts about Rebel. Now this is so strange to me. One of my favorite perfumes is by The Fireplace by Replica. It's spicy, warm, inviting, cozy. That's what this is reminiscent of. That's what this reminds me of. It's almost like I started smelling it. And I'm like, is this a dupe? Is this a dupe for my By The Fireplace? No, it's not a dupe. Um, it doesn't have that clove smell to it, but it has the ginger in it. It has those mu the musk in it, and it does remind me so much of By the Fireplace. As it dries down, it's just so, it's like a warm vanilla musk, spicy, just really cozy fragrance. And this is definitely, I think, something that I, myself... This is the cheaper version, basically, of By the Fireplace. Because By the Fireplace, like I said, is more co- And I don't want this to end up being like a By the Fireplace video. It's not. It's all about Rihanna, and it's all about these celebrity fragrances. But it's so reminiscent of By the Fireplace to me, in my opinion, that I would definitely probably wear this, you know, fall, the holidays, but I love it so much and it's so inexpensive. I would definitely wear this during the summer nights, especially if I'm going to like a movie where I'm getting cozy with somebody or, you know, just snuggling on the sofa kind of thing. It's a rainy summer night and you're just cozying up, you know, to one another and watching a movie or something. I definitely think you could wear something like this. It's very, um, sexy which i think all of her fragrances seem to have that sexiness to them that sexy vibe um very woman feminine vibe to these fragrances and i think they're really good fragrances to be such you know an inexpensive fragrance so i think that's what this particular fragrance reminds me of and if you haven't smelled by the fireplace um you know i'm just trying to explain it just has that coziness to it and um, the longevity on this is last you a, such a long time. I'm going to say probably six to eight hours. I wouldn't think you would need to uh, reapply this at all unless you want it to be a little bit stronger. I will talk about the silage here in just a moment. But And Rebel, Rebel Floor. I, I mean, I didn't even talk about the silage, but it's like you walk into a room and people just say, oh, you're, you smell so good, so sexy. Same thing for this. It's kind of like all of these fragrances kind of had that same sil silage or silage, however you want to say it. Um, you know, like when you walk in, they're like, what are you wearing? You smell really good. What is that? And of course, I've been testing this out for the past couple of days. And so I've gotten some really good comments 
and compliments on this fragrance. So yeah, this is a really, a really good fragrance. I just, I'm telling you, I think she did it right when she made these fragrances. I really do. I want to give her a thumbs up. Okay, so let's talk about Nude. I first sprayed this, I got this in Houston actually, uh, me and my husband Mike, we went to Houston for a day trip and I sprayed this and I did not buy it. I don't know why I didn't buy it. I, I, cuckoo, I'm cuckoo. So I get home and I just kept smelling it on my skin, smelling it on my skin. And I mean, we got to Houston around probably noon, I would say. And we didn't get home until probably around eight, nine o'clock at night. And I could still smell this on my skin. And it just turned like a good sweetness, like a vanilla sweetness. Something very light and offensive, but beautiful. I definitely would wear this now during the summer. And I also would probably try to wear it maybe like in the fall, you know, early spring. I don't know how this is going to hold up for the winter time because this is a new fragrance for me. But if it compares to these other fragrances, I think it's going to hold its own. And I can't wait to try it out during the winter months. And I'm going to re-update or do like a follow-up video just to kind of let you know during the fall, during the winter, how these fragrances are holding up for me. But this is a gorgeous fragrance. I mean... It's floral, it's sweet. It also has that little bit of fruitiness in there and you can smell the, the pear, the guava nectar. I mean, it, it's, it's just like all rolled into one, but it's a very lighter fragrance than the other two. So I would say in comparison, let's just say, you know, you wanna wear something that's very light and offensive but very beautiful on the skin and it's sweet, you know, sweet smelling. And, you know, it's just something that smells skin-like almost, but with that sweetness, that good, wholesome sweetness, I would definitely go with the nude. If you wanna spice things up a bit, <laughs> you want a little kick and you want some of that sexiness to come out, definitely wear the Rebel. If you're feeling that tropical vibe and you want that kind of coconutty smell, tropical smell, definitely go with Rebel Floor. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned a lot about these fragrances in this video. I tried to explain it as best that I could and I encourage each and every one of you, if you do not have these fragrances in your collection, to go out, to try them, to test them, get samples, you know, definitely, I mean, these are very inexpensive fragrances and it's not going to hurt for you to go and try these out and see if you like them and how, you know, see if they work for you. If you already have these fragrances in your collection, I would definitely love to know about it. Hit me up in the comment section below. I love to chat with y'all. That's like my favorite thing to do. I make a video, I post it, and what I look forward to? I look forward to chatting with each and every one of you. It is just so much fun. Y'all are so sweet to me. Y'all say the most kindest things, and I just, I just love it. I love all of you, and y'all have just become so a part of my life, and I hope that that's kind of what I'm becoming to you. You know, you turn on the video, and you're like, there's Jody. And so I'm kind of, you know, I'm getting like to know some of you because you comment so much and it's just so much fun. It's just worth all of this. So, oh, and one other thing, they do have a new release that's coming out this year. I haven't seen it anywhere. I haven't seen it online. Um, I did see, I think it's like fragrantica.com is talking about it and it's called Love Always um, by Rihanna and it's in this line. So keep your eyes open. If I get my hands on that fragrance, I'm definitely getting it. I definitely will do a review for you. So I hope to see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.